Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in Elder Scrolls Online and continuing on the main, uh, not the main storyline, but another storyline, Family Reunion, here where we're tracking down Veya because she is on a rampage and killing people. Nothing's so uh, more important than reaching the council meeting. If the mercenaries get in our way, cut them down. Right. So, uh, yeah, we've got to fight our way in. I think we're getting close to wrapping up this quest, uh, but it's been a great quest. And very cool. Uh, so right now we need to find Veya. Veya's getting close. We're running out of time. We can hear them in the next room and everybody's worried about Veya now. Ah, looks like we've made it to the meeting hall. Let me try to open this door. Veya, daughter. I'm so sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. Come on, stubborn, stupid father. Why? Does the house really matter more than your own son? I needed to protect this is gonna end badly. To prove his loyalty. If I could do it all over again. But you can't. None of us can. That's why they I have are to do no. this. That's an order. Oh. That's what's that. I'm not your apprentice anymore. The house has grown corrupt, evil. That's why all the counselors have to die. No, oh, she's not done. <laughs> she's gonna kill them all. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, and we've got no a fighter. More rules. No more secrets. Oh, and she is house a boss mob. You can bullshit. see by the. Uh, oh, she's got a very Enough large. Area. This isn't the way. Health bar. I'm not gonna do good. Oh my gosh, this isn't good. Ah, see, I told you. Not going to be good. Looks like I'm gonna beat her this time. Just gotta make sure she does that move right there. You've gotta block it or else you're going to die. And even that one, if you can, somehow get out of it. So much bloodshed. Yeah, so this much is bad. Death. If it's only like a Eris lot of a family it. dead. Outlander, we should speak. <gasps> no I think doubt. The Morog Tong agent. She cares deeply for Veya, doesn't she? It takes great courage to go against your heart and do what you know is best. You both did that by protecting the council. For that, you have my thanks. What did you mean when you said we could help each other? A series of regrettable decisions led to this family tragedy, and most of them were made by Eris Relith. I knew of Ulron's compassion concerning the Ashlanders. It was unorthodox, but not worthy of the punishment meted out. Eris was wrong. I thought the whole entire council was involved. Eris convinced Briven to test Ulron. Then the two of them decided to slaughter the Ashlanders. Oh, the Council allowed itself to be convinced that exile was an appropriate punishment. But we were wrong to let it go as far as it did. House Redoran dis doesn't want the Ashlander territory? I didn't say that. But we're not butchers. We do not hire mercenary thugs to wipe out an entire people. This gathering was to deal with that. Eris planned to step down, and we were going to demote Briven for the part he played. So what happens next? House Redoran behaved poorly. Morag Tong rules were violated. I suggest we make sure these details never see the light of day. Leave the bodies where they are. We will say that Veya died protecting her father and the council from the war claws. <laughs> and what do we have to do? What do we get in exchange? Cooperate with House Redoran and hold your tongues. It's as simple as that. I shall return to the council meeting and conclude our business. When we're finished, I expect you and Nayu to both be gone. That is all, Outlander. Well then. Let's see what Nehru has to say about that. I'm not sure about this. It's a generous offer. But those are some big secrets to sweep under a rug. Mm -hmm. 
Besides, Fea isn't dead. At least not yet. She's mm -hmm. still breathing. Really? How is that a problem? The High Counselor thinks we killed her. The deal hinges upon all of us forgetting this sorry mess ever happened. Besides, once Vea regains her senses, there's every likelihood that she'll try to kill the counselors. Again. Very likely. You don't think you can convince her to go along with us? When have I ever been able to convince Vea <laughs> to do anything she didn't want to do? There's redder and blood on Vea's hands. Yeah. Once the Morog Tong ties those unauthorized murders to her, she's as good as dead anyway. And more than likely, so am I. So, how do you want to handle this? I don't see many options. We can either finish off Vea now, and go along with the High Counselor's deception, or we slip out of here with Vea and send her far, far away. She broke her vows and deserves to die. I know that. But it still feels wrong. Oh, man. This is a pretty big decision. Um... Do we give her a second chance or do we let her die? So here's the deal. I think she should die, but I don't like this how counselor's deception uh, thing. Uh, so we're going to give her a second chance and um, worry about the you're, rest later. You're right. If anyone's to blame for all this, it's me. I wasn't a good enough mentor. If for no other reason, Vea deserves a second chance. Look, you need to leave. We'll meet back in Walmara. And Hero. Thanks. All right. Go on. I'll get her out of here before the council notices and meet you in Walmara. All right. So we're heading out of here, going back to Balmora. I guess it's... They're saying Balmora, but I've always called it Balmora, and that's going to be hard to get out of my head. <laughs> Not to stick your blade in your apprentices, now you. She'll live, but she can't stay here. Not after what she's done. I've got that covered. Vea won't be staying in Vardenfell. Ashur did an outstanding job. For an assassin, he's got a gift for the healing arts. Vea's going to live. Now I just have to convince her to listen to me this time. Doesn't our agreement with the High Council assume Vea's died at the garrison? And as far as she knows, she did. Now Vea needs to disappear. Otherwise, both Redrin and the Morog Tongue will go after her. Believe me, nobody survives that kind of attention. Vea didn't ask for everything that happened. She only wanted justice. How is Vea going to disappear? I've arranged for a ship captain I know to meet us in Vivek City. From there, Vea will sail to Somerset and rendezvous with an associate of mine. He's kind of furry and a bit of an ass, but he's good people. <laughs> He'll take care of there. <laughs> All right. And what's going to happen to you? As long as everyone sticks to the bargain, I go about my usual business. A writ here, a nice bath there, maybe a few intimate encounters along the way <laughs> to relieve the tension, you understand. I just hope they is good with all this. She has to be. All right. Well, take care of yourself, Nero. Always, Hero. Oh, hey, I want you to have this. Something Ooh. to remember me by until we meet ah. again. I hope you don't leave here with the impression that all dark elves are conniving dirtbags. <laughs> Some of us are also kind of sexy. <laughs> like me, for instance. Wow, she's not modest. Well, look at all the stuff we get. Uh, this is really cool. We get Not only do we get a new axe, which is part of a weapon set, but we get a face tattoo. And a Morantog body tattoo. That is really neat. I've, I don't think I've seen this before. I'm sure that I'm, it's just me being, you know, a noob. But I've not seen this before in, in ESO. So it's pretty cool that we get all three of these plus a skill point. Very worthwhile doing this skill line or this this quest line because it's been Mario. amazingly good. Actually, that that's what one of the better uh, quest lines I've done in a fantasy MMO. Best now. We can talk later. So that's been added to our body markings. And uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap up that quest line. I guess we need to, we're, we originally came into Balmura to uh, invest, you know, to do the divine inquiries because um, we were, the God King has sent us here. And um, 
Yeah, so we need to continue on. It looks like we need to go... Uh, we need another place to go to. Actually, I think right up here we can investigate Alduron and Belzer. So we're going to be going to these two spots. And it's probably going to be just like um, when we originally started this, how we um, went there and then we got caught up in another quest. And I kind of hope we do because if all of the Morrowind quests are like this quest, ah, that's, that's just golden. These are high, high quality, especially for an MMO. So since we have a little bit of time here for, uh, I don't need to wrap it up yet. Let's, I, I've been doing this every time I'm in Balmura, uh, Bumura, I've been, uh, heading over here outside to the horse trainer to make sure I can, uh, train up my speed and stamina and care capacity for my horse. Uh, actually I'm going to do speed first. It's more important to me. Although I don't have a lot of money <laughs> on this new character at all all <laughs> so that's been rather annoying and uh, we're gonna head out of town and I'm gonna head up to this investigate uh, Alduron which you can see over there in the divine inquiries is uh, the bottom of the list okay so I'm coming up here on this place I thought it might be a town but it is not I demand to see my brother lay hands upon me and you will lose them Whoa. You there. The territory of the Red Exiles shouldn't be traveled lightly. <laughs> well, okay. Ashlanders once respected each other, helped one another. You'd think these were house wolves or tribunal dogs, the way they treated me. Speaking of the tribunal, you have the smell of dog about you. Oh, boy. I wonder why that is. I'm looking for something for Lord Vivek. Lord Vivek, is it? And I thought all the tribunal cared about was building monuments to their own greatness. Nice to see that one of them cares about what's going on beyond their borders. Well, perhaps we can aid each other this day, Outlander. What kind of help do you need? Ashlanders are nomads, but we gather at sacred sites to trade, confer, and pay homage to the past. Aldrin is such a place. That's why Chodala invited the Red Exiles here. But these outcasts won't let me into their camp. I need to find my brother. Who's your brother? My brother, Chodala, is the Ashkan of our tribe, and I am his ambassador. I act as a go-between among the tribes. Chodala wants to unite the Dunma and calmly end the era of the bickering houses. He hopes to convince the tribes to follow his lead. So what do you need to do? Head into the Red Exile's camp and find my brother. Otherwise, see if you can find out what he was doing in there and where he's gone. Be wary of the outcasts. As you saw, they won't hesitate to attack without reason or provocation. So your brother rules over the Ashlander tribes? No, just our tribe, the Urshilaku. Though he's respected by most of the other Ashlanders for his wisdom and strength of will. He does hope to unite the tribes in a common cause, however. That's one of the reasons we've gathered here at Aldrin. And you think you'll have to fight your way As through you camp? As you saw, hostility is second nature to the Red Exiles. We're here to negotiate. They're no better than thieves and murderers. If they spot you in their camp, you'll need to defend yourself. It's unfortunate, but they'll leave you no choice. Who are these Red Exiles? The Red Exiles. They're violent, dangerous Sashlanders who were banished from their tribes and joined together to create their own clan. Chodala invited them to the gathering and went into the camp to talk, but he's been gone too long. I'm worried. Okay. So that looks like that's going to be the main storyline. It's going to be about all of these Ashlanders and the uh, struggles that they go through. And we're going to do that in the next episode, though, uh, since we're finally around 15 minutes here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave any comments you may have. Really enjoying Morrowind here. It's, uh, it's really good storylines. Like, I mean, they've upped it since... The original more uh, since their previous expansions i mean this is very high quality you haven't got it yet uh, and you enjoy storylines like this I, they're just all over the place I have, i'm only showcased like one or two i mean and they've been terrific so they've just been really good uh if you haven't yet make sure you hit that subscribe button uh it helps me out a lot and i try to put out a video every single day of the week so you want to make sure you subscribe so you can get notification of that so till next time